Hi, uh, my name is Mrs. Ludla, and I am here with Mrs. Russo. We are the library media specialists here at the high school, and we are going to talk to you about ProQuest, which is a database for lesson 16 of my personal wellness. So welcome. We're going to start today's lesson at New Canaan High School Library Media Center website, which is nchslmc.org. We're going to click on the computer icon from the top navigation menu, which will lead us to the database page. But before you get to the database page, you're going to be asked for a username and a password. It's important that you remember this is on page 12 of your planner. This will bring you to the long list of databases. It's about 60 databases here. And we're going to scroll to the bottom to where it says ProQuest Platinum, the big one. This will bring you to an advanced search page, which is exactly what you want. You should have a list of keywords and research questions. These are derived largely from your My Pyramid Tracker results. Um, we want to focus on issues where you see frowning or sad faces. Um, in this case, the person's problem area is Another place you could get your information meat. from is your nutrient intake analysis. In this case, this person has too many carbohydrates, not enough fiber, and the question is whether they should be eating more calories than they really are. There might be a concern that they're not consuming enough calories. That person had issues with both carbohydrates and fiber. So let's say carbohydrate. And because we want to include the word carbohydrate and carbohydrates, we're going to add a little asterisk. And we'll talk more about that very shortly. We're going to combine that with the idea of, we put in and, diet or health and we're going to add the search term fiber. Now if we don't change a thing in ProQuest, the de default search is going to come to citation and abstract. We're going to stick with that for these two, but we're going to make diet a subject or if we choose to go with health, we're going to make health a subject. So this is actually a good sample search for someone who has issues with carbohydrate and fiber consumption. Now we're going to explain a little bit about what we did in the previous screen. Um, here we have Boolean connectors. Boolean connectors are here in the drop down menu, but also we just randomly added one here. So in this case, we're using the word and to combine carbohydrate and fiber, but we're also using the Boolean connector and to combine the search in the first line with the subject health. Here's how Boolean connectors work. By using the word and to combine the search term carbohydrate and fiber, we're only locating articles that have both the terms carbohydrate and fiber in it. So that would be this area of the Venn diagram. If we were to use the word or, in our search, instead of the word and, which is another Boolean word, we would be pulling up all of the articles that contain the word diet, plus all of the articles that contain the word health. So you can see that that would generate more results than it would have if you had used the Boolean word and. Why do we use the asterisk? It's called truncation. So by putting N-U-T-R-I with an asterisk, in our search, we're pulling up the following words, nutritious, nutrients, nutrient, nutrition, nutritionist, nutritional. It will pull up articles that have this root, but any continuing extension after the I. Where do we find the asterisk on the keyboard? We use the letter eight with the shift key. Now let's talk about delimiters. When we constructed our search earlier, we used citation and abstract in the first delimiter field, but then we changed it to subject in the subsequent delimiter fields. So what does that mean exactly? Well here you have a long list of other delimiters, but for the search term health and diet, we had changed our delimiter to the word subject. Well let's talk a little bit about subject versus keyword. A subject is a predefined controlled vocabulary. Basically, these are words that are selected by the Library of Congress and they are assigned to materials by librarians. Keyword, on the other hand, is natural language describing your topic. And it's basically something that's going to appear in the body of writing if you're searching in ProQuest. Let's see what is being searched 
depending on whether you're using a subject or a keyword. With the subject, it's only searching the description that's been assigned to the, uh, to the article by a, either a computer or a person. But with a keyword search, it's actually searching all over the title, the author, the description, the text, etc. The only thing that will change that is how you use the delimiter, which was in the previous screen. For subjects, Boolean connectors are not necessarily recommended. But we strongly recommend that you combine keywords. Relevance refers to the alignment with the results of your search with your actual intended search. So with subject, your results are going to be precisely relevant. Whereas with keyword search, it can include really unrelated results. For example, if you're searching for health articles, but you might pull up stuff on health clubs. In terms of results, you will have a lower number of results if you are subject searching than if you are keyword searching. We talked about delimiters and I want to go over just a few of these with you. The citation is what you would write in a bibliography. It includes the author, the title information, the publication information, the date of publication, and so forth and so on. The abstract is another word for summary. I mentioned earlier that the citation and abstract is the default search in ProQuest. So if you don't change any delimiters, it is going to search for the citation and abstract. So we just want to point out that the citation is the article title, the author, the publication, the publication date, and the page on which you find it. The abstract is going to be the article summary. And it's very important that you understand what an abstract is. For the purposes of your My Personal Wellness Project, you are going to find a newspaper article and only a newspaper article. We want you to find a newspaper article, which means that you will need to click on the newspaper tab in ProQuest search results. You have some options within ProQuest once you've found an article that you want to use. You can print it, which we strongly recommend because it will save paper and ink. And the other thing you can do is cite this, but beware because the citations in ProQuest have some glaring mistakes that will cost you points if you just copy and paste them. On the other hand, you can start your citation with a ProQuest cite function, and then you can correct it. This is how you would do that. You click on Cite This, and then you choose MLA, because that's the style we use here at the high school. And here is the citation that would generate from the previous article. The number one problem is that the last name should be first before the first name on the author information. So you'll need to correct that. It's also missing a page number. And it's missing a space between the database name and the comma after the date. So there are some real problems. You'll definitely need to adjust it. You have homework to do for the next session. If you forget what to do or you want to recap any part of this lesson, click on the Moodle icon in the icon menu at nchslmc.org. The next time your health class meets will be in the classroom. You're going to find today in class now a ProQuest article from a newspaper that answers your research questions and uses your keywords. For homework, you are going to read and highlight points from the ProQuest article and you are going to summarize it in your own word. And it has to pertain to your personal wellness. It's very important that you understand that there's a relationship between my pyramid tracker, your ProQuest article, because they're completely aligned. The next time you meet, you have to bring the hard copy of your keywords and your research questions that you developed during lesson 14. You also have to bring a hard copy of the ProQuest newspaper article that you find in class today, highlighted it, and you've summarized it in either a Word document or in Google Docs. You also have to bring the summary with you in hard copy to class. Need to be prepared to staple all of those items together and hand them over to another one of the students in the class who will then evaluate the merits of your choice of a ProQuest article. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me or Ms. Russo. Our contact information is on the home page of nchslmc.org, right here under Contact Us. And now you're going to find a ProQuest Platinum newspaper article, and you're going to do that by employing the keywords that you developed in Lesson 14. Good luck, and we'll talk to you soon.